I was good, y'all. It's your boy, David is fit or King David in the cut. Um, here, welcome to my channel. This is my first ever YouTube video, and I'm excited for y'all to for me to embark on this YouTube journey. TikTok's been going crazy. Y'all been showing me hella love. I would not have thought I would be here literally a year ago, but I appreciate every single one of y'all, and y'all are amazing. Y'all been telling me, hey, make a YouTube, start a YouTube, make your videos, um, give us longer tutorials, tell us how you did it. I know y'all are here for the weight loss tips, y'all are here for the workout videos, y'all are here for the daily vlogs, so I'm gonna have that all for y'all laid out. Um, this is my first ever YouTube video, so I don't wanna take too much time, but I'm gonna just talk about what I'm gonna have on the videos, and then dive straight into how I lost weight. Hopefully by the time I'm done with this video, I have an intro for y'all. Um, uh, just keep working on it. I'm still learning as I go. It's a, it's a learn and go process. Like I said, I'm gonna have daily vlogs, so, or not daily, but weekly vlogs. I'm gonna try to get a video, at least a video or two per week of just vlogging, showing y'all my diet, showing y'all workout videos, uh, some cardio, whether that's like seven on seven with the boys or running, jogging, I got it for y'all. This YouTube page, I'm finna have it, have some challenges. If y'all got challenges, let me know. Moving on from the channel, I know y'all wanna know, David, 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 how did you do it? How did you lose weight? Well, I got you. Two magical words for you. Calorie deficit. A calorie deficit is basically when you take in less calories in your body than your body technically maintains and, need and burns. Your body has a set number of calories that it burns just naturally and without exercise or anything like that, it has that set number and that's called your maintenance calories. That's the calorie level where you, if you eat that, you remain in a constant weight. Now, when you reduce that by say 300 or 500, which is a recommended amount for a deficit, then gradually over time, your body will burn more and more fat, burn more and more calories, burn more and more, and you start to lose weight. Now, there are so many people out there that say, that advertise, oh, you have to do cardio, you have to do workout 24 seven, you gotta work out six days a week, seven days a week. Those are all just supplements to your diet because your diet and your calorie intake is solely what decides if you lose weight. I'm trying to put it plain and clear for y'all. This is something that I wish I would have known before like a year ago, two years ago, before I, I, when I was trying to lose weight and working out literally six days a week, doing all this exercises, but still eating like shit. But, I figured it out eventually doing my research. Y'all should always do your research. And now, look where I am now. I've accomplished so much. It's almost been a year. My birthday's coming up March 16th. That's around the time when I started on my fitness journey. And I will have a one year transformation video for y'all. Calorie deficit is the most important part when it comes to weight loss. Forgetting just weight loss, I also, I need to, I wanna look better. I wanna look leaner. I wanna build some muscle. Then you start moving on to things like your protein intake, the fats intakes that you put in your body, that other macros that you start to worry about. So if you're t if you're looking to lose weight while building muscle and getting lean, then you take in protein in your body. Try to take in 0.75 or three fourths of your current weight in grams of protein. Now wait, wait, wait. Yo, I don't want y'all to be confused. I got y'all. I weigh around 195 right now. If I wanted to lose weight, like gradually and cut, I'm taking in around 195 grams of protein per day. When you take in a good amount of protein, then you're not losing muscle while cutting. Protein is what helps build your muscle. It's what gives you that leaner look when you burn the fat off. So while you're in a calorie deficit, take in 0.75 to one gram of protein per day. Another thing that's so important is water. Water break. Water is so, 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 so important. When it comes to weight loss, 
or just your body in general. Your body needs water to function. Water does so many different things, flush out toxins, power your body. You need to be taking in at least a gallon or more of water per day to help your body regulate work at the best capacity and the best efficiency that it can and help you lose weight ultimately. And doing just those will help you when you're looking towards building more muscle, then you start thinking, or if I wanna speed up the process, then you start thinking, okay, what can I do to do this? Well, I got you, cardio. Then you start implementing some cardio in your work, in your daily routines. You can put some workout in, get in the gym. The gym is the fastest way to speed up your weight loss process. So when you do cardio, okay, you're running and you're burning in calories at that very moment. But when you're in the gym and you're training, strength training and intensely working out, then you're burning the calories while working out. But after you leave the gym, your body is burning even more calories trying to recover from the training that you've done in the gym. So while you're tearing down your muscle at the gym, burning calories doing that, your body is burning even more calories, building more muscle for you. That's how we get jacked. So how did I end up figuring this out? It was around March, March 20, 20th, when I started my fitness journey. It started off being like a way to clear my mind. Mental health is something that's very important to me, especially being a psychology and neuroscience major. I understand the benefits and the importance of keeping a good mental state of mind. So I started off running when Corona happened. It was a way for me to relieve stress and uh, work on my mental health since I've been seeing so many videos and research on how much the food and the calorie intake that you put in your body affects your body so much. So I started eating cleaner and I started running and running and I didn't, I didn't notice results till people started telling me around a month and a half in. So, because you're just so used to your body that your brain filters out these little minor changes that happen over time until you wake up one day and you say, I've lost so much weight. Like I'm actually looking kind of swollen now. So something I'd advise for y'all to do if y'all trying to go on this weight loss journey or a bulking journey is take progress pictures each week. A hack for y'all if y'all are trying to lose weight is find some way you can track your calories, some type of app. The one I personally use is MyFitnessPal. You can actually enter in your weight, your height, the activity that you do, and it will actually give you your calorie deficit number. And it's just, I used to use it because it has such a huge database of foods already. So I can just scan a product or scan some food that I wanna eat and it will already have all the information on there and I can easily log my calories. You have to keep up with that. So one of the ways that people often mess up, they don't track everything correctly. And you gotta focus on measuring your food out. Though some way, something that people make a mistake of is looking at the calorie intake, looking at the nu nutrition on a product, and then not noticing the servings on the product. That's something so important that that the calorie and all that macros is, is for one serving of something, but there might be nine servings in that whole bag, like in a bag of chips or something. So that's something so important. So really the way I see it, losing weight, the steps to losing weight is not that hard once you figure it out and once you learn it. But the discipline and the effort and time dedication that it takes to do it all, that's the hard part. Most people can't do that. And I would always make excuses for myself until a, a switch finally clicked in my head and I was like, I can't like, I can't just keep saying that I'm going to wait till tomorrow. I can't keep saying I'll do it next week, I'll start. Why not start today? Why not start now? Download MyFitnessPal. Download, find out your calorie deficit right now and start taking control of your life. Start on your fitness journey because I'm telling you, it is the most refreshing and inspiring thing you can ever do for yourself. When you conquer your own body and realize, see the accomplishments, like when I see the accomplishments of what I've done and seen my before and after pictures, it's just such an uplifting thing to know that I can accomplish this. So what, there's nothing else like in life that I can't accomplish. It's a, it's a motivational and inspiring thing. So I really wanna, I'm here for y'all. 
I'm here to help you. I want you, the journey to be easier for y'all. And I don't want y'all to have to go through all the research, all the bad, all the setbacks that I did because I want I want to inspire other people. That's something that I told myself I would do ever since I started seeing the changes and seeing all the things that happened, all the good things that happened in my life as a result of losing all of this unhealthy weight, losing unhealthy fat in my body. I was like, I need to let other people know. And that's why I created TikTok. That's why I started my TikTok. I posted my first video. And even on my first video, you can see I'm like, I want to inspire other people and let them know that they can do it too. If I can do it, they can do it. You, you have the steps, you have the layout. Now it's up to you to decide. Do you want to take that first step? Do you want to take the steps to being a better person? Do you want to take that step to losing weight? Do you want to take that step to building muscle? And it's really up to you. So if y'all got questions, DM me on Instagram. I respond to every single DM. I got you on, on helping you out. I'm here to help y'all. If there's something that you feel that from my TikTok that needs to be explained more and elaborated more, I got you. If y'all need my playlist, check out my playlist on the link tree in my bios. I got it on all my social media pages. With that being said, that's my first video. I want y'all to do me a favor. If y'all could like this video, comment some sort of idea for my next videos, some challenges, some ideas, YouTube video ideas, I got you. Some workout video ideas, some food video ideas. If that's what you wanna see, let me know. Go follow my TikTok if you have not yet. Go follow my Instagram if you have not yet. Go follow my Twitter if you're not yet. Subscribe to my YouTube, like this video, and add me on Snap. We, like people from TikTok, we all have a community. I got a private story with y'all. I'm even thinking about making a group chat with y'all. If y'all communicate with y'all, just to just to get on this fitness journey and know that, yo, we're in this together. So that's all I got for y'all. If y'all would like to get some protein, um, definitely use my link on Rise Protein. I should be getting a code for y'all pretty soon to get y'all a discount. But other than that, it's a YouTube video. Peace.